So we are going to do the integral of secant squared x divided by secant squared x minus 3 tangent x minus 1. Now, the first thing I see when I look at this integral is this denominator that looks really ugly. We're not going to be able to get very far with this integral with a secant squared x and a tangent x in the bottom. So we want to start thinking about how we can simplify this denominator using some trig identities. First thing I see here is a secant squared x and then a minus 1. We know one trig identity is secant squared x minus 1 equals tangent squared x. If you haven't seen this before, you can just add 1 to both sides and see this as tangent squared x plus 1 equals secant squared x. Of course, we know that's true. And then that means we can simplify this a lot by rewriting it as the integral of secant squared x over well, this secant squared x minus 1 becomes tangent squared x, and then minus 3 tangent x. Now, we might start looking at more trig identities to apply in the denominator. But before we do that, we have to take a step back and look at this integral with a fresh set of eyes. We have tangent x in the bottom, and we have secant squared x in the top, which means this is actually a very nice example of u substitution. If we substitute u equals tangent x, we know that du is going to be secant squared x dx. And therefore, we can plug all this into our integral and give us secant squared x dx is du, and then divided by u squared minus 3u. So this has gotten us some pretty decent progress. Next thing we might want to do is factor the denominator. So we have u squared minus 3u is u minus 3 times u. And then it's time to do some partial fractions on this to split it up into two parts. So we'll have a over u minus 3 plus b over u du. And we want to solve for a and b. So to start off, we want to solve for a. u minus 3 equals 0 means u equals 3. So you go over here, cover this up. 1 over 3. Obviously, that's going to give us 1 third. So we go over here, a is equal to 1 third. Now if we want to solve for b, we set u equals 0, that means u equals 0. So we go over here, 1 over 0 minus 3 is 1 over negative 3, or negative 1 third. So those are the two coefficients that we need for our integral. And then we can split this up into two parts. So this is going to equal, if we pull the 1 third to the outside, we get 1 third integral of 1 over u minus 3 du plus, and then this is going to turn into a minus because we have a negative 1 third integral of 1 over u du. These are both fairly simple to evaluate. So this is going to give us 1 third natural log of u minus 3 minus 1 third natural log of u. And once we get here, we just have to plug in u equals tangent x. I'm going to factor out the 1 third in both of these. So we'll have natural log of tangent x minus 3 minus the natural log of tangent x. And with that, we've finished our integral. You can do a little simplification on this if you'd like, but I'm just going to leave it in this form. So when we do integrals, or any problem in general, Sometimes we might get so caught up in one particular aspect of the solution, like these trig identities we're trying to apply, that we forget about other ways to deal with the problem. So it's always good to take a step back sometimes and look at it with a new perspective so we can notice the things that are staring us right in the face the whole time.